Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel we'll learn how to update the firmware on the Creality Ender 3 V2 3D printer. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to update the firmware on the Ender 3 V2's main board. Now the main board is that circuit board inside the electronics box that controls the printer's heaters, motors, and screen, and the firmware is what controls that. So let's get everything ready. We're going to need some information from the printer, and we're going to need some information about the printer, and that will help us figure out which firmware file we need to download. First, let's see what version of the firmware is currently installed. From the main screen, select Info, and you'll see the current firmware version. Mine's at version 1.0.2, which is the current version for a stock Ender 3 V2, but I'll still go through the process so you can see how to do it. Creality has used different main boards for the Ender 3 V2, and for each variant, there is a firmware file. Creality also sells, as a user installable upgrade, a couple of different versions of a BL Touch bed probe kit. So we need to find out which board is installed in the printer, and because you might be coming here from a video about installing Creality's BL Touch kit for the Ender 3 V2, it's important to know which version of the BL Touch kit, if any, is going to be installed so that we make sure to get the correct file. So for each main board variant, there are at least three files available. There's firmware for the board without a BL Touch. There's firmware for the board with a BL Touch where the BL Touch kit included an adapter board. And firmware for the board with a BL Touch where the BL Touch kit did not require an adapter. In order to determine which board is installed, the cover needs to be removed from the bottom of the electronics enclosure, and that means removing this one screw here on the top, and after gently placing the printer on its side, these three screws on the bottom. Note that this screw at the back on the bottom is much longer than the others, and you'll need to know that when you're putting the cover back on. So once the screws have been removed, carefully remove the cover. There is a cooling fan attached to it, so just set the cover down so that the fan's wires aren't being pulled. Now, right about dead center on the board, look for the Creality logo, and then right beneath it, there is a board revision printed on it. My board is a V4.2.2 board. I don't have a BL Touch Kit installed, so that's all the information that I need here. I'll reattach the cover, and just as a reminder, that long screw goes in the back here on the bottom. Updating the firmware on this printer with its 32-bit mainboard is a lot easier than updating the firmware on the older 8-bit mainboards. With the 8-bit boards, you'd have to plug a programming tool into the board and connect that tool to a computer and then flash the firmware. Or use that programming tool to flash a bootloader and then you could update the firmware from a computer using the printer's USB port. But with the 32-bit boards, all that has changed. Now all we need to do is download the correct firmware file, copy it to an empty micro SD card, insert that card into the turned off printer, and then turn the printer on. If you don't have an empty micro SD card, back up the card that came with the printer by copying the contents to a folder on your computer. If you don't care about what's on the card, you can skip backing it up. And then throw away all the stuff that's on the card and empty the trash or the recycle bin depending on your operating system. Later, when we're done, you can copy the stuff back onto the card if you backed it up. Next, find and download the file that works for your printer. Open a web browser and go to creality3dofficial.com. Click forum slash support, then click firmware download. Click Ender series, then click Ender 3 V2. Look at the firmware files for your board revision and compare the available version to the version that's already installed on your printer. If the version on the website is the same as what you've got installed, and you aren't installing an accessory that requires new firmware such as the BL Touch, then you do not need to update the firmware. Your printer is already at the latest version. That means you're done and you can click the like button and then go watch something else. But if the website has a higher version of the firmware or the website has the same version and you're adding a BL Touch, then proceed. 
In the big list of firmware files, the one I need for my main board, since I don't have a BL Touch, is this one. Now, Creality often uses .rar files instead of .zip files, so you'll need a utility that understands how to unarchive those. On the Mac, I use a utility called Kika. On Windows, you can use something like WinRAR. So, I'll download that file and unarchive it, and the end result is a .bin file. Grab the .bin file, copy it to the card, and then eject it. Now you've got a card that only has the firmware file on it. So, let's update the firmware. Make sure the printer is turned off, insert the card into the printer, and turn the printer on. The printer will see the firmware file on the card and it will automatically update itself. Now during the update, the screen will be lit, but it only displays a blank black image. And it'll stay that way for about 10 seconds. Do not turn off the printer while it's doing this, or your printer may become a brick. Once it's done with the update, it'll reboot to its usual main screen. And at this point, you can remove the card from the printer, delete the firmware file, and if you back the card up, you can copy the files back to it. If you get to something like the one minute mark with the black screen and the printer still hasn't rebooted, turn the printer off and remove the card. Reformat the card as an MS-DOS FAT volume and copy the firmware file back onto it and try again. I've had this happen before and reformatting the card fixed it. When the printer is back at the main screen, you can go to Info and verify that you've got the expected firmware version. So that's all there is to a firmware update on the Creality Ender 3 V2. Now we did have to open the printer to get one piece of information and that was a little bit of a pain. But now that you know what board revision is inside your printer, you'll know what to look for when doing future firmware updates. And then it'll just be a matter of putting the correct .bin file on the card and powering up the printer with that card inserted. So overall, I see this as a big improvement over the process of updating the firmware on 8-bit boards. Well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, and we have some shiny new firmware, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end. And thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those of you who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you could do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.